All right, new day. We got most of this cab thing sorted out. So I think we're going to uh, try to get stuff situated with the box. We'll deal with that because then we can uh, get the proportions right before we decide to squish the lid there. All right, well, first step, we'll get this on the ground. I've done a very, very loose chop. I have no suspension travel out of this one yet. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side, but I'll, for now, I'm gonna set them up so they're on the axles, even side to side, so I can get my box kind of braced and figured out. And then, then we can clearance this for some suspension travel. Yippers. All right, well, let's get started. I know I probably should have cleaned all that, but that's fine. <laughs> the panel's actually pretty straight now. It was pretty banged up. Uh, it's by far not perfect, but it's definitely usable. 
can take a little coat of schmear and it'll be good enough. Or for what it is, a guy could just paint it and be done. Depending the taste they're going for with the car. <laughs> or truck. I don't know why I keep calling it a car. Anywho. We've kind of got that lined up. I have to still figure things out here. We got her pretty centered, but I got to add on to the back here, so. Uh, I'll probably take the other one off. I'll probably work it over too, quick. Need to take a little break. This one's nowhere near as bad, so this won't take too much to, to finish up. I uh, picked up some rods, or whatever. I don't know if they're signposts or what they are. So I was just gonna use those to run my cross braces in the, uh, in the box. So I can kind of get things all situated where it's supposed to be. So I'll make some standoffs over there and over here and I'll kind of goob some stuff together just to temporarily hold it till I can uh, add on my front and my back that I want to do. You probably see me doing a whole lot of plenishing English wheel, kind of doing it all wrong, but it's uh, doing what I needed to do. <laughs> These panels all came out pretty good. I guess I'll I'll have to tip the end again, but that's not a big deal. At least they're all fairly straight now. They were pretty banged up. This panel was uh, the worst. It still is pretty murdered, but eh. It's the front on the passenger side, so it's not too bad. <laughs> this is a little deeper than it should be. And the pocket is just annihilated. I've been trying to, uh, I've been playing with it a little bit. We'll see. I should be able to get most of it out, I think. I don't know, must have been hit hard or something. Yeah, it looks like that, so. I got my work cut out for me. It's probably be easier to make a new one, but. I'll see how far I can take this one. If I can't, then I guess I'll make one, but I don't think it's too bad. <laughs> anyway, we don't need that right now. That's not a big deal. I basically, what I want to do, I know I got a little wonky, eh? I guess it's all stretched and shrunk up into here. I probably stretched the beans out of it doing what I did, but in the end, it should be okay. Not too worried. I can just trim this straight. I'll probably do that first. Cut that straight because, well, it is what it is. <clears throat> She's made out of spare parts. It's pretty much it. Uh, like that planished out fine. I haven't done the other side, but it's pretty straight. So I'm going to get it glued together first. And then I'll run it through the planishing wheel. Or the planishing hammer to smooth smooth it out a little more let's see well i guess next step <clears throat> i know the edge of this box if anything i'm going to take it back a little bit like this is a little overly tight but uh yeah i'll figure out what i want to take that back half an inch something like that an inch inch seems like a lot but yeah probably an inch depends where i am inside here yeah, inch it is. So I'm going to take these back one inch. 
And then I'm going to glue these panels on because I want this curve in there. Even as ugly as that one is, I want that one in there. Actually, kind of funny, eh? This must be front and rear? I don't know. It's kind of a weird line. Does any of these have that? Yeah. I guess the stamping's the same. Side to side, just depends what pocket. Oh no, that's the front one. These are the rears. Yeah, they got them too. Interesting. All right, all right. Anyways, let's uh, start by gluing that one on and then we'll kind of work our way back. I'll do that front bit. I'll do this side first. We can kind of see here what's going on. Again, practicing on the passenger side, then we'll be an ace at it on the driver's side. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get started. All right, well, as you can see, I uh, did a change of plan again. This time I, uh, I opted to cut this in. I'm only using this little bit of the back section or front section. Uh, I opted not to trim any of this. We'll leave it for now. It should be good. I kind of shuffled the box around and it looked okay. So we'll leave it. I didn't like just do what I was gonna do, just a straight cut and splice this in because, well, this thing just looks murdered and looks like a lot of work to fix. And I don't care that I got a stake, like a pocket in there for anything. So we did that. As for the bottom, I, uh, I opted to cut it off because this panel actually is in better shape than the one there, so. We, uh, we were just going to do the old button cut, cut and butt. It's kind of where we're at here. I'm just going to give it a tack, try to keep everything straight. I'm mostly going to go tack around 
And then I want to almost clamp it to the bench where I can push down so then all these panels sit straight when I weld it. So I don't have to do so much work trying to uh, plenish this sucker out. But for now I'm like, I'm about cut up to here. So I'm going to do a couple spot welds on it to hold everything in place. I can slowly cut everything out, spot it all. And then like I say, I'm just going to pretty much press down on the bench as hard as I can and make sure everything stays square and keep our body work to a minimum is the plan. Anyways, let's start welding that up and then we'll work on this side. We're going to do something similar. Well, we're not actually doing something similar. We are going to be adding to it because that's the back of the box that we wanted to add two to three inches. So I'll start with three. If I don't like it, we can shorten it. So.
Well, it's not terrible. I still gotta get this sorted out, but I'm not worried right now. We'll uh, see how it fits on the truck. I ended up going to the end of this stake pocket, which works out the three and a half inches I added, so hopefully that's enough. Should be. There's no real going back now. <laughs> Pretty much is what it is. Uh, other than I don't have this stake pocket, I might just clamp on that really crappy one that I got just to get the full visual of what it'll look like on the truck. But uh, one side, sort of done like the rest of the truck at this point, so it counts. Anyways, let's get it on there and see what it looks like. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm kind of, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. All you ever want is your chest scratched. What's up, dog, with that, eh? Hey, it's like you don't like getting pet in the head. Yeah, see? What a goof. What a goof. Hey. I'm showing everybody what's uh, what I did here, okay? Yeah. Alrighty. So it's not bad. We did uh, three and a half inches is what we've added. So, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. It still seems a little short on the back, but it is a five foot box. So, in the end, it's, uh, I don't know, it's big enough <laughs> for what the rest of the truck is. Anywho, I uh, am pretty much going to chooch through and do the other side really quick. <laughs> really quick. I don't even know what this took. An hour? Two hours? Not too bad. Still needs like a lot of work, but we're just overall roughing the whole sucker in. That's kind of the plan here. So let's, uh, let's get going on the other side. Hey, Pablo, can we start on the other side? Hey. Eh? <laughs>
we yeah, we got a whole lot of extra box bits. Right, Pablo? What should we do with those? Nothing right now, right? Okay. Well, this is the other side. It's a little uh, crooked. We gotta maybe I'll straighten it down. Hey, poppers. Can you give me a minute? And then the old uh, plywood and crescent wrench kind of got my my sill pretty much in the right place. And it still looks a little off. But that's okay. Well, I shouldn't say it looks off. It's just not quite straight. Yes, I know. Relax. <laughs> All righty. Well... My tailgate is too wide, so I don't know if I'm going to shorten that one yet or I'm going to talk to a buddy of mine and see if he has a different gate. Hopefully something more of this era would be kind of cool, but I'm not too fussy. This thing's just made out of random junk anyways, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, you can totally tell. Different from side to side. Like, uh, this one's still off a bit. You can see the top of the other box. Anywho, I don't know. I think it's right. This side looks... It looks better, like it looks more out of, it looks like it sticks out the way it's supposed to. Cool. We're sort of in the ballpark now. I have this front pan that's uh, not from, I think it's Chevy. That would be my guess. It seems to be close to the right width that I need. So, I might uh, try to use it in here. It'll have to get trimmed or bent, but I might kind of mock it up so I can hold the front square. The idea here is to get the box square, and then I can kind of make some bars going across. I think I'll do the floor here. I might, depending how my diff goes, oh, I can't. I might step it down a little bit in the front, so at least if I throw some junk in there, it won't slide out because it's not a very deep box. Uh, I don't, I bought that moon tank or that spun tank, but I don't know if it'll work in this truck. I might build a tank and put it behind here. That'd be, I don't know, may as well, right? I got the room, gives me more bed space. Okay. Did you look at that? Pretty swanky. So, I realized I had some steel. I wouldn't say scrap, but the stuff was four foot. So, uh, I just cut a tube up there because I think I'm going to make that front header panel. I have whatever, just something that the box can rest on. There, there. This one sets the back. This rail's still a little tweaked. I got to adjust this top part. This I'll uh, be able to get her fixed. Once I weld that up, yeah, both sides got welded differently, but yeah, that's how they go, right? It's not terrible. Everything still needs to be metal work better, but I'll probably strip it down just so it's easier to uh, walk through the old uh, plenishing hammer and uh, the English wheel. Hopefully we get it like straighter. I don't want to put too much mud on it anything, but we will see. But anyways, that is the overall picture. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. I think that uh, whatever it worked out to be three and a half inches is what I ended up adding on. So it seemed to be the uh, perfect combo. Anywho, I think that is where I'm gonna leave this one tonight. Uh, tomorrow, I have to pick up some steel. I'm thinking I'll make like a one by one, uh, like a framing around the box so that uh, I can start building some towers or like some mounts like this way and over here and stuff like that. <clears throat> well, tonight I don't feel like working on this thing at all. I might cut my, uh, braces for my box but that's probably as far as I'll get 
I think I'm just gonna mess around a little bit and make an attempt at putting a center in that rim. Not 100% how I'm doing it yet, but uh, we'll start with this wheel because I can screw it up all I want. I'll, uh, this is the right bolt pattern, so I'm pretty much just gonna take the plasma, I'm just gonna blow this off. We'll see roughly how things fit in the uh, other wheel I got and uh, have a, an attempt at how I'm gonna fix or kind of glue these two things together. The uh, plan after is to take this into the lathe and I can machine it down nicely. And then maybe we can kind of do some hackery on the other wheel and kind of try to reverse that. Right, how does that, how does that sound? Right, sound like a plan? We're gonna do that? <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, well, I'm not sure on my footage, but a lot may or may not have gone on. And you may want to correct me on how I did stuff because I don't really know how to use my mill, but I fumbled through it and seemed to make it work. So what I did, we cut out this center, we cut out the other center. This wheel doesn't fit in my lathe, so I had to uh, just plasma it. I clamped it in the mill. I milled down the uh, lip on the inside. I then took this one to the lathe. Uh, I realized, you know, the wheels are a little bit of a different offset. Well, they were actually, the wheel was a complete different offset and it's a little wider. So I, uh, I just shimmed this one up to do a happy medium between the two. And then from there, we had to measure the center, which is about two and a half. And I'm just a hair over two and a half on this one, which is fine. Um, I machined this, I machined this. I put a little groove in here so it actually fit tight inside of here. I have no idea if it's straight yet. So that's basically what we're gonna check now. I got to basically put it on the car or the truck and I'm gonna spin it with a dial indicator and then we'll see how, uh, how close we are to true. We'll try, we'll test it this way and then this way to make sure it's true going straight, that there's no wobble this way and that it doesn't wobble this way. I'm hoping. I should have probably measured it before because it's, I'm sure it would have been out originally. <laughs> Judging by the wheel having this funky old weight on it, like how cool is that, eh? Old school to figure out how to get that off. I guess it clamps under the lip. Kind of neat. Anyhow, we have it tacked. It's uh, the new center, 
I can get in. I should be able to weld it onto here. I'm not sure. I got to probably take this ring off to weld it. And then I want to weld both sides once I got it all set up. But at least we got... When I put a hubcap on, it doesn't matter that the center will be different. So, I don't know. But first things first, we got to see if it's not just a wall hanger now or I can actually use it on the car. <laughs> Let's go with a test bed. We're gonna use one of my known good wheels first and let's see how, how good it is. And it'll be bumpy because it's rusty as heck, but All right, so we're anywhere between 50 to 80 thou out around. <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking this. Holy. See how straight it is. Maybe I'm overthinking it because this is like really crooked. Hmm. It's crooked every way. Clearly they don't give a crap <laughs> how straight a wheel is. Holy Dinah. All right. I'll tack my wheel and I'll see if I'm close to as screwy as this thing is. I'm pretty sure I'll get mine closer. This wheel. Looks like it jumped a few bridges. Hey, it passes the eyeball test. <laughs> Survey says... It is a little wobbly, wobblier than the other one, that's for sure. Just make sure it's not the outside of the wheel that's messed up. only about five thou worse than the other one oh, it's actually only like ten thou out around that's pretty good it should be because I made that pretty square <laughs> Uh, let's 
let's try to do the other way because we're kind of tapped down. I think the wheel's just stinking uh, bent. Like, I don't know. It's just the nature of them. I don't think I'm going to put much more thought into it. Let's just chalk it up. The wheels are kind of crappy back in the day. You know what? It's going to be straight enough. We'll just rock it. Good enough. We had it on. This wheel is equally as screwed as the other one, so I don't know. I'm only running it in the back, so I guess we'll try it. Worst case, we uh, just throw a bunch of weights on them and it'll fix her up. <laughs> so anyways, my plan is I'm just gonna TIG weld this because I'll have a more controlled heat. Like, I'll know I got a good penetration into it and stuff. I gotta do that. I'm gonna have to knock this ring off uh, just so I can get a good weld. I want to weld both sides and then we should be pretty cherry after that I don't know how hard this thing's gonna be to come off It's probably not held on by much. It's in better shape than the other ones on the car, but anyways, let's uh, We'll get this welded up and done deal wheels are done As far as I can tell they look all the same close enough <laughs> I can't say if this is right or wrong, but it is done. It's glued together. I can't see it breaking or anything, but hey, what do I know? It's uh, gonna end up going in the back anyway, so it's not too bad. My ring uh, didn't come off so nice, so I'll have to make a new one when that time comes. Actually, I think for some reason, Rolly has artilleries on his panel. It's not this style like it's a new wheel repop but i wonder if just like a regular cap would fit on it i have to hunt around and see like there's regular caps but i don't think well i shouldn't say regular but like this is a plymouth cap no that one wouldn't work i wonder if like a moon cap would work on there like a baby moon i don't know if i want to run that but it would be interesting to know that it works. Uh. Well, there's one. Uh. It's kind of bubbly. Nope. It would be like that idea. Well, that would look kind of cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh. Well, maybe they make smaller ones. I don't know. All right. Anywho, wheel is done. So, uh, I guess technically I could put the rubber on it, but eventually I do want to blast them and stuff, so, eh, it can wait for now. Right? It can wait. Well, guys, 
I think this video has run on, so I think I'm gonna call her. Next round, I'm gonna do the floors, we'll, and uh, we'll get that bracing all done. We'll make the mounts for the floor, and uh, maybe smooth the box sides out a little better, and then uh, we'll see where we go from there. But as always, I wanna thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.